Amy Legion, how y'all doing today? I have something really special. The triumphant return of Jolt Cola. Where the tagline is all the sugar and twice the caffeine. Now, when I was growing up, in the 80s, I remember kids in high school said, there's this drink you gotta try out. Jolt Cola has so much caffeine in it. And, um, you know, I guess it was kind of like the very first energy drink, trying to keep uh, people awake and stuff by all the caffeine. And uh, I made a mistake and mentioned to my dad, he's like, they're lying to you. There's nothing thing like that. I never heard anything like that in my life. They don't make stuff like that. I love my dad, and sadly he's no longer here. But, I mean, you know, I got a big argument with him over that. And then just like I got an argument with my mom about tequila, I said, some bottles of tequila have a uh, worm in it. And she said, no, they do not, no, they do not. It's rough. Well, anyways, kids were talking about this, saying, like, truck drivers love drinking this stuff, and you should try it and stuff. Everyone was talking about it, and they were talking about it in the Army, too. I'd never seen it before. I didn't see it till 92, 93. Uh, when I was out of the Army, I started working at this place called uh, Betty's Kitchen, which ended up later on became Connie's Kitchen. They had, like, a big drink section. They had a thing of Joe Cola. I tried it a few times, and I really liked it. And that was the last. I don't see it that much around here. And then I know they went to some marketing decision, and then they went to, uh, they ended up changing this can into like a battery can, it's supposed to resemble like a big AA battery. And then there was like, they fell for bankruptcy over uh, uh, money, uh, oh, money uh, issues with, uh, yeah, following a pricing dispute with the supplier for distinctive cans. I bet those cans are expensive. You know, because it was like a shape of a battery with, and it had to twist it up a certain way and stuff. And then uh, another place uh, confirmed that Joe Cola will uh, return to Dollar General stores September 2017. I never saw these in Dollar General. I mean, because they stopped making them. And then they said September 2017. I might be a little late to it, but this is the first I've seen it in my Dollar General in Albion. And it's really... Uh, you know, storming out, so I decided to get that, uh, you'll see a later Taco Bell video, that was done last week, that was not done this week, so, go ahead and try it out, Joe Cola, see, uh, manufactured, uh, it says www.joecola.com, the return duck, Joe Cola, like I said, how much, it does not say how much, uh, caffeine is in here. Uh, it says, warning not recommended for children, people, sense of caffeine, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. I'm going to open it up. And not a whole lot of info in here. So, does not say how much caffeine's in here. Oh, well. Let's give it a try anyway. It's a 16-ounce can, too. And this was a dollar, by the way. At dollar General, And they, they have, like, a line of, like, different items that are a dollar. Because a lot of times, you go to Dollar, it's not like Dollar Tree, where everything's a dollar or less than a dollar. Uh, with Dollar General, everything's a dollar and up. And, and you might be able to find a few things less than a dollar. But usually just the opposite. Let's go ahead and open it up. I've not had this since 92 or 93. Okay. It smells very good. Let me give it a taste. Wow, that's very strong. I definitely get the cola taste. It's not as good as like a cola or a Pepsi. But it does taste all right. I think a lot of the flavor is uh, left up to the caffeine. I can see myself waking up right now. Uh, this is really good. I like it. I give Joe Cola an 8.5 out of 10. The triumphant return of Joe Cola. So check out your uh, <clears throat> your local Dollar General. Maybe they might have it. 
like I said, it was individual. Like individual cans. It's not like where they put like the, the individual cans of like the Mountain Dew Green Label and Black Label and all this other stuff. It's like in a different section on its own. You know, right next to like the aloe vera drinks and stuff like that for a dollar. And also the uh, one Tampa Co. drink that I'll probably be reviewing sometime. So, I mean, I, I like it. I'm glad it's back. I'm glad I got to finally try it for my channel. I've not had this since 93. I thought it was done totally. You know, it's been discontinued for a while. Hopefully they'll keep this design not go super fancy where it's up to be too expensive to make with a can. They, they had different flavors. I've never seen any of the different flavors before. i never seen the battery can before either. So until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion. Uh, time to put the video on.